Hey everybody, I was just checking some uh, proofreading and stuff I'm doing for a uh, one of my classes. But um, anyways, I want to go over here to be the uh, SHTF gun series. Uh, this is some stuff I've done with my favorite gun, which is my Norinco SKS 56. Um, as you can see, I was just sitting here cleaning it and stuff. Uh, I was getting ready to look into buying a stock for it, and then I came right back on the advice of my friend Glockwork9. And so I looked around on Google, and I actually found a guy who had put a uh, stock Tapco stock on it, and uh, he set it on fire with it. 75 round drums so yeah I mean they, they will they'll melt um, under continued fire these things get hot hot and wood doesn't do that they build it with wood for a reason and it has the, the handy dandy little cleaning kit in the uh, butt stock and I wanted to go ahead and just do some uh, down home tactical stuff with it and I came up with a great one earlier first of all we'll come back to that um, an update on the hog zone knife uh, made it just a bit better. I don't know if you can see that quite clearly because of the light, but um, that last tooth there, I've rounded all these edges with a Dremel, and I've rounded all those edges too, except for I need to go over a little more right there, and I added jimping, which turned out just excellent. Now I got to see that right there, Deep Fried King. <laughs> see that? That's called knife control right there. That's so you can do a bunch of different tasks with your knife. But anyways, getting back to the SKS. Um, I had another problem with it. I tried to add a scope to it. Fit on there like that. Uh, See-through scope, ring, rails. So you could use the iron sights and all that. Turned out I had really, really poorly designed studs on it. So what I'm going to do is go get some real heat treated bolts that fit that and some thread lock and bolt that thing down secure the way it's supposed to be. And then I need to trade somebody this right here. This is a brand new uh, Bushnell uh, 4x9 uh, 39 scope. Uh, barely used it at all. Uh, was perfectly sighted in on this thing, but um, I need a mini scope. I need something that only comes out to there and only comes out to there because you see that right there That was where the spent cases were smacking it. And so they put a couple blemishes on it. So uh, it's Definitely you don't want a long scope for an SKS. You want one of those uh, mini scopes. I don't know how good they are But they'll have to be better than uh, nothing. I was also looking at a uh, little mini aim point, but I don't want aim point I want some optics. I want some uh, some scope. So coming back on to what we're doing with the SKS rifle, um, I mean it was almost the perfect gun to me right out of the factory. The bayonet configuration is real cool here because what happens is you can uh, use it as a, if I can just get the damn thing past the end, you use this as a uh, monopod. You just stick that, that's what a spike man is for, you just stick it into the ground and you've got you a monopod to shoot from right off. And so that was really cool, but uh, what I've done here is made a paracord cheek rest. Because I said, damn, I just wish I had a little more cheek on because I got high cheekbones and it smacks me in the cheek. Well, you can see the uh, rise on it that goes this way, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a uh, utility knife blade stored under here, um, some bound, wound up guitar string to use as, uh, as snares, and uh, maybe a little pack of matches or a lighter or something to give it a, a little bit more swell. I want a little bit more swell on it, but I'm going to retie this, and it's already nice, and I tied it through, uh, anchored it with uh, the actual strap lanyard there, or the, the, the uh, strap mount, and uh, it's really nice. I, I picked my face up again. Not only that, I don't like a cold, you know, butt stock up against my cheek in the winter time, and that will prevent that and have some items in there. So if I get stuck out with just me and the SKS, you know, I'll be able to cut stuff and set fires and uh, whatnot, and I, I, I think that was a really good idea. So uh, thanks for watching. I'm glad to have you with us, and remember, there's a wealth around you.